Welcome all, Papa G here. Today I present my low carb zucchini parmesan. Made with roasted red peppers and Kalamata olives, it's a recipe that's not short on flavor. Let's get started. Use one large zucchini and cut into about quarter inch slices. Since we'll be using olives in our recipe, I opted to use a nice avocado oil for our marinade instead of olive oil. I just think it adds a little bit better contrast and flavor profile. But olive oil works great as well if you prefer. Place the zucchini slices in a mixing bowl and add the avocado oil. Add a bit of salt and some ground black pepper. Give that a mix with your hands and be sure each slice of zucchini is fully coated with oil. For our coating, pour a half a cup of almond flour into a medium pan or dish. Add a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, some garlic powder, Italian seasoning, salt, and finish with some ground black pepper. Give that a mix to combine. Place each slice of zucchini into the almond flour mixture in coat. Put the coated zucchini on a parchment lined baking sheet and place in the center of a preheated 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. While the zucchini bakes, we'll prep our red peppers and olives. You can roast your own red peppers if you prefer, but you know I like it easy and simple, so I'll be using these jarred red peppers instead. Slice the peppers and then dice until very small. Do the same with the Kalamata olives. I think Kalamata olives taste best in this recipe, but you can surely substitute black olives instead if you prefer. Place both in a small bowl and add some salt and a little black pepper. Mix and set aside. After 20 minutes, remove the zucchini from the oven. Add some Parmesan cheese to each slice. Top each with our red pepper and olive mixture. Pour about a teaspoon of my low carb marinara sauce over each slice. I'll leave a link in the description below for my low carb marinara recipe. Now top with a small slice of mozzarella cheese. Place back in the oven for about 7 to 10 minutes allowing the cheese to melt. When the cheese is melted, remove from the oven and let cool just a bit. Now place them on a plate to serve. I like to add a slice of olive and a bit of red pepper as a garnish and finish off with some dried parsley. This is one flavorful zucchini dish. Another one of my favorite low carb options. There you have it folks, my low carb zucchini parmesan. A great tasting low carb meal. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing. I'll have something new every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.